dive into the future with us, where science and technology intertwine to shape the world we live in. Welcome to our corner of the web, a place where we explore the grand tapestry of scientific discovery and technological innovation. Our mission? To ignite your curiosity and inspire a sense of wonder. From the tiniest particles to the vastness of space, we cover it all. So buckle up as we embark on this exciting journey of learning and discovery. Today we delve into a topic that has touched many lives globally, cancer. A cancer, a word that can send shivers down anyone's spine, but what really is this beast? Cancer, in its most basic form, is the uncontrolled growth of cells. Picture a bustling city with each cell as a citizen. Now imagine if some citizens, the cancer cells, decided to break rules and multiply uncontrollably, causing havoc. That's cancer for you. Our bodies are made up of trillions of cells, all working together in harmony. But sometimes this harmony is disrupted. A cell's DNA, which serves as its instruction manual, can get damaged, causing it to behave erratically. This erratic cell can then divide and multiply, creating a mass of abnormal cells, also known as a tumor. Cancer isn't a one-size-fits-all disease. It comes in many shapes and sizes, each with its own set of characteristics. We have over 200 types of cancer, each named for the organ or type of cell in which it starts. For instance, lung cancer begins in the lungs, while melanoma, a type of skin cancer, starts in the cells that produce skin pigment. Now you might be wondering, why does this DNA damage happen? Well, it's a combination of genetics and lifestyle factors. Some of us inherit faulty genes that make us more susceptible to cancer, but our choices also play a part. Unhealthy habits like smoking, poor diet, lack of exercise and excessive sun exposure can all increase our risk of developing cancer. This doesn't mean that everyone who inherits a faulty gene or lives an unhealthy lifestyle will get cancer. It just means the risk is higher. Cancer is a complex interplay between our genes and our environment. So, this beast, cancer, is a complex disease. It's like a rogue citizen causing chaos in the city of our body. But remember, we're not helpless. We've got an army of scientists and medical professionals working tirelessly to understand and combat this disease. So fear not, science is on the case. The battle against cancer isn't new. It's a fight that has been going on for centuries. As far back as ancient Egypt, physicians have noted cases of bulging masses, what we now identify as tumors. However, it wasn't until the 19th century that we began to truly understand the nature of this beast. Rudolf Virchow, a German physician, is often credited as the father of modern pathology. He was the first to suggest that cancerous cells originate from normal cells, a groundbreaking concept at the time. He proposed that chronic irritation could be a, a potential cause of cancer, paving the way for our understanding of cancer's environmental triggers. Fast forward to the 20th century, we saw significant strides in cancer research. The discovery of radium by Marie Curie and its subsequent use in treating tumors opened the door to the era of radiation therapy. Around the same time, the concept of chemotherapy was born out of the observation that mustard gas, a chemical warfare agent used in World War I, suppressed the growth of white blood cells. In the latter half of the 20th century, researchers began to unravel the genetic basis of cancer. This led to the understanding that cancer is not just one disease, but a collection of many diseases, each with its own unique genetic mutations and characteristics. The turn of the 21st century brought about targeted therapies and immunotherapies. These treatments aim to specifically attack cancer cells while leaving healthy cells unharmed, a stark contrast to the scorched earth approach of traditional chemotherapy and radiation. The history of cancer research is a testament to human resilience and ingenuity. It's a story of tireless scientists who dedicated their lives to understanding and combating this complex and elusive adversary. Each breakthrough, each discovery has brought us closer to turning the tide in this long-standing battle. While we've come a long way, the fight is far from over. But with the knowledge we've amassed and the tools we've developed, we are better equipped than ever to face this challenge. The battle continues and so does our relentless pursuit of a world free from cancer. Our understanding of cancer has greatly improved and with it, our weapons against this disease. The battlefield of cancer research is ever evolving and today we're standing at the frontier of some truly revolutionary breakthroughs. One of the most promising advances is immunotherapy. This approach is all about empowering the body's own immune system to take the fight to cancer. 
It's like giving our body's soldiers a special training, enabling them to recognize and destroy cancer cells. As we speak, a plethora of clinical trials are underway, testing new immunotherapy drugs and combinations that could potentially change the way we treat cancer. Then, there's personalized medicine. This isn't a one-size-fits-all approach. Instead, it's about tailoring treatments to the individual patient and the specific genetic makeup of their cancer. Picture this. Two patients with the same type of cancer could receive completely different treatments based on their genetic profiles. It's a monumental shift from the traditional approach and it's making treatment more effective and less harmful. Another exciting development is targeted therapies. These are drugs designed to target specific molecules that cancer cells use to grow and spread. They're like guided missiles, zeroing in on their targets and leaving healthy cells unharmed. It's a more precise way of attacking cancer and it's already showing promising results. But here's the thing, these advancements are not just about finding new weapons, they're about changing the very way we understand and approach cancer. It's a paradigm shift, a new way of thinking that's driving us closer to our ultimate goal, a world without cancer. And yet, it's important to remember that cancer is a complex beast. Each type of cancer is different, each patient is unique, and while we've made incredible strides, we still have a long way to go. These advancements give us hope, but the question remains, do we have a cure? The answer is complex, but as we continue to push the boundaries of our knowledge, we're inching closer to that goal every day. The million dollar question on everyone's mind, do we have a cure for cancer? In the quest for a cure, it's crucial to remember that cancer isn't just one disease. It's a collection of over 200 different diseases, each with its own unique characteristics and behaviors. This diversity complicates the search for a universal cure, as what works for one type of cancer may not work for another. Imagine it like this. You're a locksmith, tasked with opening hundreds of different locks, but each lock requires a unique key. So rather than looking for one master key, we're searching for a multitude of keys to open each lock separately. Now that doesn't mean we're without hope. On the contrary, the field of cancer research is brimming with promise as scientists work tirelessly to develop new and effective treatments. One exciting area of research involves immunotherapy, which harnesses the power of our body's own immune system to fight cancer. Groundbreaking treatments like CAR T-cell therapy have shown remarkable success in certain types of cancer, transforming the once bleak prognosis into a beacon of hope. Then there's precision medicine an innovative approach that tailors treatment to a patient's unique genetic makeup. By understanding the specific genetic mutations that drive a person's cancer, doctors can prescribe targeted therapies that attack the cancer cells while sparing healthy ones. And let's not forget the potential of early detection. Techniques like liquid biopsy, which detects signs of cancer in blood, could catch the disease at its earliest, most treatable stages. But the fight is far from over as we continue to unlock the mysteries of cancer. We're constantly learning, adapting and innovating. Every new discovery, every breakthrough brings us one step closer to a world where cancer is no longer a death sentence, but a manageable condition. While we may not have a one-size-fits-all cure, every step forward brings us closer to winning the battle against cancer. The journey of discovery is far from over and we invite you to join us. As we've navigated the complex world of cancer, we've learned about its nature, faced its challenges, and celebrated the strides made in research. It's a testament to human resilience and the power of scientific pursuit. The future holds promise, and together we can continue to unravel its mysteries. Stay curious, stay informed, and remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to continue this journey of discovery together.